Good morning everybody and welcome back to vlog with a view. We've missed one or two Sunday vlogs. So we're back and we're on a beautiful gorgeous beach with a lovely view and a little bit of a public service announcement this morning. But before we get to that, don't forget, make sure that you've subscribed to the Visit File Coast YouTube channel. Hit that little bell and make sure you get the notifications. And don't forget to give this video a like too. So, we had a press release this week about keeping safe in the sun. And it was titled, A Spoonful of Sunscreen for Your Vaccination. So, given the fact that there are quite a few lobster pink bodies wandering about in Blackpool this morning, we thought it might be an appropriate subject just to, just to have a little bit of a chat about as we wander about on this, on this big beach at low tide. Apparently, my GP data shows that 73% of holidaymakers intend to staycation this year. And given the fact that the last country, Portugal, has just been put back on the amber list and there are now no countries on the green list, I think Blackpool's going to be busy this year. In fact, I think it's an absolutely ideal time to revisit the Blackpool holiday, which might not be your ideal, but you never know. You might enjoy it more than you expect and you might want to come back. Because we do get quite a lot of nice weather in Blackpool, as you can see from all this sunshine that's on this beach on a, on a Tuesday morning in May half-term week. We've had some absolutely glorious weather and we've got a lot more sunshine forecast to come for the rest of May. But despite 1,493 hours of sunshine a year, the UK has the highest melanoma rates than France or Italy, which is quite astonishing, really, when you think that they're two Mediterranean countries that are, well, we assume bask in sunshine most of the time. So don't forget, when you do come for your Blackpool staycation, make sure that you bring some sunscreen. If you forget go to the chemists and buy some because one little bottle of suntan lotion could make the difference between you having a miserable time and a really nice time. And did you know that 67% of people will use a high factor sunscreen on holiday but only 33% do here in the UK? An incidence of melanoma has risen by over 135% since the 1990s, which is quite a lot. But 86% of cases are preventable. That's the good news. And they're caused by overexposure to UV from the sun and sunbeds. So it's not just, it's not just the burn the day that you do it. It's what happens kind of several years down the line and melanoma's nasty we don't want people catching that and it's a bit of a man thing as well because one in 36 men will catch it whereas it's only one in 47 women so take please take extra care especially after a year in lockdown because you're going to be a lot more lily white now than you perhaps would be otherwise and you'll always be able to spot the people that live here as well because we're the ones that look slightly rusty We've got this kind of brown look most of the year round. So, I hope that you've enjoyed this little ramble round beautiful Blackpool Beach on a Tuesday morning on a lovely day. And it's actually quite warm down here, which is not, is not something that frequently happens when you're so near to the edge of the sea. But just make sure that you keep careful and you keep safe, not just from COVID, but also from skin cancer. And don't forget to make sure that you've subscribed to the Visit File Coast YouTube channel and hit that little bell for notifications as well. And then you'll catch all our new videos and all the new stuff that we're creating all the time. Don't forget, extra care after a year in lockdown and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.